Hey people, Frank Cement here. Um, last video I got the motor running. It's actually running right the second time around. So, hey, hey. Uh, finished tuning in the carburetor. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, idle mixture. Put a vacuum gauge on there, show you how it works, uh, what to look for, and uh, how the gauge reacts. And then I'm going to confirm the port for the vacuum advance for the distributor. That port should be at zero at idle. And the only time it should have vacuum is when you're cruising around, uh, say about right off idle to about 30, 40, uh, well, highway speeds. And uh, you get to see the reading through the gauge with that port. Okay, let's get busy. Okay, time to finish tuning in the carburetor. I got the vacuum gauge hooked up and it's reading uh, sixteen pounds, seventeen pounds. And uh, see if I can prop this gauge up where you guys could see it. And what I'm about to do next is uh, play with the idle mixture. This is how you know your power valve is closed and it's not dumping gas into the carburetor while it's running. Unmetered gas, that is. starving the gas to the carburetor, engine wants to stall. That's how you know your power valve is closed at idle and it's not dumping gas through the main jets. And simple, you want to raise the vacuum up as high as you can get it, as smooth as you can get it. Without it pulsating. Do both sides like that. Good 16 right there. Do the other side. So you go in until it starts to stumble, then you come out, and you watch the needle until it stabilizes and it's not pulsating. We're bouncing around. It's going to pulsate. We're bouncing around from number to number. What I mean. Back in. Okay. Right there, sixteen and a half to seventeen. Next thing I want to check is the distributor. 
vacuum line going in the server should not be sucking right now it'd be in an idle I pull this off put my finger to it that's this port right here should not feel vacuum the only time I feel vacuum is if, when I rev it up I can't do that right now I need both hands but it being idle it should not be sucking right now and it's not let me uh, hook the vacuum line back up to where I have the uh, vacuum gauge hooked up to I gotta do it while the engines off and I'll confirm that by hooking this hose up to that Okay, I got the vacuum gauge hooked up to it. Confirming that at idle, that port is reading zero. Now when I rev it up, bring it off of idle, it should be moving. That's how it should be working. That port goes to the distributor and runs the vacuum advance. So the vacuum advance uh, diaphragm moves only when you're cruising. It does not move when you're sitting at idle or wide open throttle. Wide open throttle, that port is also zero. Okay, worth mentioning. Okay, I got the idle mixtures set. Uh, confirm there's no gas leaks. Gas is going through. And it's not eating up the gas anymore. So the power valve is closed. I confirmed that by playing with the idle mixture screws. Now, if you turn in the idle mixture screws and the engine doesn't want to stall out, that means there's gas getting through the carburetor somewhere else which would be the power valve uh, since I have that blocked with epoxy I just confirmed that it is blocked and it's not working so that's a plus for right now I'll tune I'll tune that part in of the carburetor later on when I get it on the road uh, so overall view uh, there's no leaks uh, the float is working right it's not spewing gas it would be coming out of this hose here and these two holes right here uh, choke is working the idle speed when the choke is closed is good when it opens it drops down to where it should be accelerator pump is working good that was a uh, four dollars for that thing so rebuilding this carburetor cost me four bucks plus another three and a half bucks for the epoxy but I'm still not done yet I still gotta buy that power valve so that'll probably be another ten but other than that I did not have to buy a, a re-gasket kit for this carburetor all the gaskets are reused well except for the accelerator pump that came with the new gasket when I got it. Um, get this, I went to the store to buy a, a PVC valve, two dollars, and I had to order it. <laughs> so I'm still debating whether or not to get one. It's probably the original one. And, uh, I don't know, it seems to be working okay. I might just skimp on that for right now. But then again, it's only two bucks. I might run down there Monday and get one or order one. I think everything for this thing, other than plugs, I got a freaking order. <clears throat> so, electrical to the carburetor. I haven't seen this thing working. I haven't turned on the heat to see if it kicks up the idle a little bit. Well, I turned on the heat, but I didn't notice if the idle went up. But if it don't work, it doesn't matter. If it doesn't work, I confirm that it doesn't work. I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, this 
opens up the choke as soon as it starts so it don't flood out that's working good and the uh, that's the uh, hot air that goes into the coil for the choke system even though it's electrical I guess they need that too yeah go figure okay that's pretty much it for this video on the carburetor I got the carburetor working and the motor running right it got rid of the mist so I haven't pulled the plug out yet to see what they look like but I'm betting they're cleaning up on their own so I won't bother right now if I think I could get one out real quick later on I'll, I'll do it just to check but I got a feeling they'll be good so if you like this kind of thing rate comment subscribe any questions leave a comment share the video if you don't mind thanks man bye let's do a little overview on the gauge I used uh, this is a vacuum gauge and it is also a fuel pressure gauge it doubles for fuel pumps mechanical fuel pumps this is not for fuel injection this is for mechanical pump driven off the motor which only goes up to 10 psi of line pressure so you can't mix the two it'll probably just blow the line up gauge goes up to 30 pounds of vacuum and uh... This is an old school gauge. Probably pick one up. Probably for like ten bucks now. I was thinking about uh, buying one just to hook up on inside to have a gauge just to monitor carburetor how it works. Just for the hell of it, but that's another project, another video. I don't know if you can see the words. This crappy camera. Order numbers. <laughs> but it works pretty good. Okay. Okay, I pulled out a plug real quick. Looking at it, they're still black, but if you notice the tip of the ground electrode, it's starting to turn white. I don't know if you can see it. Crappy camera. Focus. I don't know. But you can see the white and where the spark happens through the insulator that's starting to clean up too so it'll take time for it to clean up on its own but if I have time I'll pull the plugs and clean them of course but if I don't have the time they'll clean themselves <laughs> but that's good news that white on the, on the tips uh, that means the motor's running right so good news okay that's a little tidbit sun's going down so my camera starts screwing up later